Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Ink. We have Sponge starting as the White Terran, this time actually moving out with that initial SCV to get some captures. This is on uh, Infested August Grad. Up at the bottom left, we have Nagnar starting as the Blue Zerg. There are, just FYI, <clears throat> I'm not going to go all over all of the adjustments to play, but in Season 2, some of the Overlord mechanics are going to be switched up to make things a little bit uh, more fair for the other races. But be sure to visit our sponsor, DJ's Ice Cream. So I guess the pseudo sponsor season one, not really. This uh, Southern Infested Command, that would actually be great as a thing if you could, if the sponsors could be buildings in the midst of this. Anyway, Infested Command Center being grabbed on either side of the map. It looks like this infested, well, let's see what happens here. This SCV scout making its way back to the main. Nagnar looks like he's got a drone headed to the upper left-hand corner, so he should be able to capture that. But with, in, with Infested Command Center slowly making its way to the bottom right, he might be able to win, again, the overall number of Infested Command Center's war. But keep in mind, still an advantage going over to Nagnar, because at least in this season, as he's grabbing these overlords, he's getting additional supply that counts towards base supply overall. Which I think is still the solid strategy to work with. First Infested Command Center, this is a big, wide gap to try to defend with all of this. These infested command centers pressing forward in more of an aggressive stance. Sponge has already got that gas down. Gas down opposite side. Worker lead currently in Magnar's favor. Still remaining uncaptured in that bottom right. So we'll see Sponge on the verge of a 4-0 uh, humiliating defeat is what I want to call it. On this map, four player potential macro situation just because it's so large. But it requires getting some sort of defensive units out there on the field. And actually, Sponge is going to halt in the middle of the map, build infested Terrans at a nearby location in duplicate numbers. This infested command center is being grabbed. This one's making its way. Actually, I don't know that Nagnar has got a scout as of yet. Sponge just diving straight in. This infested Terran trailing, he actually should just split it off. Okay, now he's splitting it off. Good drone split overall. Keep in mind, as long as it's in here, it's not... Actually, I would have just kept it around. Just camp it on that mineral line. Force the, the medics to... Or, sorry, the medics. The drones to come back to you. Another... Is this going to be the win, the game that Sponge wins? More Infested Terrans making their way forward. This Infested Terran making its way across position. The Overlord now scouted in that upper right-hand corner. Nice defensive Infested Terran here. But this Infested Terran is going to be able to make its way across. Another decent drone split here from Nagnar. And yeah, I would just leave like one or two drones mining at a distance and just force him to yeah, decide. I don't know. Anyway, the drone's going to get back to mining. So currently I'm going to give a decent edge to Sponge because he's, I think, been mining effectively longer, although it looks like six drones getting back in the midst of this. However, Nagnar now moving up aggressively. This infested Terran going to... Oh my goodness. That was a game-ending hit. Catching so many SCVs and the command center. So there's only one SCV left and two on gas. This infested command center needs a big hit in order to catch up. And two drones, it looks like they weren't able to get to the line, to, but only catching one drone right there. So things all of a sudden not looking good for Sponge. More infested command center, or infested Terrans making their way up. And these two SCVs are actually bunched together. It's actually odd. It's like you want to do it differently or you want them to, oh, and catching two in the midst of there. And the command center is now burning for Sponge. Sponge down to 12, 12th supply. Or sorry, 12 minerals. So he's going to have to uh, mine a bit before he can get another SEV out. But it is just going to be trivial at this stage for Nagnar to cap this game. He's still got eight workers. He's still mining gas. And this command center is one hit away from just de being devastated. We've got one last infested Terran running its way across. And this is kind of like that... I don't know what to call this. It's like that hero, just to, to remember things, but he explodes on it. It's like a hug, a death hug at the ramp right there. GG well played. Nagnar is our Infested Cup Season 1 champion. Hope you guys enjoyed it all together. These are fun to cast, and I really enjoy like the different strategies. And Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.